Ah, 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 oh, the burn. It's gonna be one of those days. Ah. We made it back to workout 28. Bang for your buck on the horizon, or should I say the end horizon, space oddity. The next special workout is coming. We have a crisis. Today's code name should be, instead of bang for your buck, too much buck, not enough dough. Everyone swing your arms, get your triceps stretched out, jog on the spot, and check out this insight. Boom, 92% males watch this channel. Makes a lot of sense. My Bills Mafia table smash videos. <laughs> spikes every time there's a Bills game on Sunday. But starting right now, gents, ladies and gents watching this video, show this next little segment to all the girls in the next seven days as homework. Get them to watch this part right now. Case study, my lovey dovey, Kara has been lifting weights hard for 10 years. She's not a monster bodybuilder. I've seen through the 5,000 classes, thousands of females over years lifting weights. None of them get huge and Mack truck jacked, okay? It's body composition. Yeah. Fat takes up way more space, less shapely. You wanna burn off the fat, replace with dense muscle. That's what gives the curves, makes her look like an Athenian goddess. <laughs> but. She can lift 300 pounds, out sprint all the guys in our gym and beat them in even 400 meter track races. Only Tucker can beat her, dog. We gotta get more girls on the weightlifting program. You can't just pick YouTube videos that has a nice white wall and trim in the background in your living room doing body weight. It's not gonna cut it. Ah, so that's my rant, rant over. Show them that section. Let's get more females lifting weights, joining these workout series, make it a challenge, make it a hot date, whatever you have to do. Tell your girlfriends, friends that are girls, you got the memo. Today's workout, the bang for your buck. Too much buck, not enough dough. Four sets still. We're going for a 25, 20, 15, 10 protocol. I'm gonna do my deadlifts with kettlebells and a band today to show you variations on how you can make lighter weight a lot heavier. So no barbells for me today. Ring push up. I'm doing the same as last time, but I've dropped the rings slightly and I've elevated my feet. So that immediately is gonna make the ring push up harder than it was last time. And then we have opposite toe to crunches. I think we're gonna go per side. So that's just gonna be brutal. That'll be the one you feel tomorrow for sure. And part two, we have the 70 rep challenge again. We're gonna go for 70 high pull with implements, two dumbbells, barbell or kettlebell. Uh, we've never done that move before. It gets your traps and shoulders going quite nicely. 70 one inch pulse push ups. So you're gonna have to learn off the floor, bench or box, whatever your angle to handle that weight. It's gonna be very tough. Wood chop. We're gonna do all the reps per side with probably a dumbbell, kettlebell works as well, or a power band. And then single leg glute bridge off the floor, off the ball like I showed you, or off a bench or box. Single leg glute bridge, 70 of those per leg as well. Piece of cake workout, it's gonna take a while. Let's get to a quick warm up and the workout begins. Okay, warm up today, similar theme. Mat on the ground, one heavily implement, kettlebell or dumbbell to lift light deadlifts to warm up and our power band looped up somewhere high. If you don't have that, you're just using the wall or an upright. So double kneeling, let's throw a foot out to the side and start falling into a little hip wave. Okay, we're gonna fall in nice and far, get the hip flexor to stretch, and then come back far enough to lock out this quad. Your toe might have to lift. Try to keep the toe down, lean to get that hamstring stretch. In, back, in, back just like that boom yeah okay now we're gonna stick hands straight up overhead try to go in the same and you're gonna feel it way tighter through this side of the body back push like you're holding a dumbbell right up overhead so an active press not a passive reach oh, get Important to get that hamstring stretch right at the back there. You probably feel through the big TFL ligament there. That's a super tight issue when you're sitting in a desk too long. Okay, let's square up the stance. Square lined up with the hips. Now we're gonna do those baseball throw hip waves. So twisting back, falling through, touch the floor, come back full extension and throw in, back, throw in. Get the whole spine loosey-goosey rotating here. And I only look good doing this on this side because I throw right. 
switch side, square, flare open the lunge, fall in, lock the leg out, fall in, lock leg out. Too much buck, not enough dough. Just use that as some homework, try to get the transition over. Let's get more females into the game. They won't regret it. Nice lifestyle choice, lifestyle challenge. Okay, arm up, locked, holding invisible dumbbell, falling in. If you want to intensify, big side reach. Go past vertical. Oh, and that just pulls the whole way through. Square up, open, fall in, throw. Wow, I'm bad on this side. Wave it back. Two more. One, two. Okay, cat cows. Okay, we love that one. Hands and knees, spine, flexion, extension. Two more. Good. Mat goes away. Tall stiff arm plank on the ground. Stiff arm plank, scap, push up. Eight, nine, 10, okay. And then we'll go into those uh, Jefferson curls, just body weight. So tucking chin, rolling down, quads are locked, roll and reach, and then unwind the exact same way. Roll, gets just stopped where you need to, where the hamstrings don't let you go any further, and come back up. Good, and then the wide stance, I love this one. Wide stance, hips sit back for the hinge. Double pulse the ground, up, open the arms. You're gonna get handcuffed back here. Up, big backward circle, double pulse. Double, up, open the chest. Two more, boom. Up. Ah. And then just a little hamstring sweeps. You can keep the leg bent a little bit to get further. You get a higher hamstring stretch that way. Nice. Okay, and then holding onto an upright or looping in for the pec stretch distraction. Loop the wrist. Opening up, fall away and twist the wrist high. Fall away, twist high. The more you do this, the more you can get into your finicky positions to get a little more pull, assist areas that are tighter. But the whole general movement, all four positions really opens up the shoulder. Three, two, one. Ten. Okay, and then we'll just do ten slow motion deadlifts. Where am I? Visible. Okay, I'm gonna be stuck in the sumo stance the whole time for this whole workout, so I'll get into that now. So picking up dumbbell on end or kettlebell. Remember, we're hinging back. We should be professional hingers by now. Hinging back, arms go straight down the plumb line. 
picking up the weight. And if you're too tight, this weight can be up on a stilt, up on a plate. So you don't have to go down as far to grab it. Nice and slow. We're not doing stiff leg RDLs today, so there is a lot of knee bend allowed. It's not an upright squat, more hinge pattern. But remember the cue, you can squat your hinge, hinge, squat the hinge. So you can push through the legs to come up. Deadlifting isn't just an upper body pull. So if you're hurting your back, feeling low, low back soreness, you're probably pulling the deadlift. You should be loading and pushing through the legs to come off the floor. Three, two, one. Good, so today I'm not going for any big implements. You know the rule at home or wherever you are, just slow things down to make them tougher. Even strict push-ups, chest truly to floor for 25, 20, 15, 10 would be awful under tempo. So if that's all you got, do it. It's gonna be brutal. Remember that scale weight, right? You're pressing 68, 73% of your body weight. So that's a big lift if you're doing slow tempo. So we'll get ready for round one. I'll set up the banded deadlift here. I already tested it and it's gonna be nasty. Ring push-ups for me and then a mat for the toe crunch. Here we go. Okay, set one, 25 reps. You have your deadlift implements at home. Maybe the exact same as what you did last time, just going a little slower. You can see I'm looped through the ends of my power band here in a big sumo stance. Bands don't help off the floor, but they pull way harder at the top. So I'm gonna be in a nice exponential force curve doing my reps. Here we go, just twisting the band slightly and get ready for that big hinge. Whoa, really hard at the top. If your band's too long, just choke up on it and make sure you stand strong. Get your butt back every rep. Strong core. Wow. Nineteen. Ooh, twenty. Five. Four. Three. Use your legs. Two. Whoa. Glute explosion. Whoa. And there you go. That's how you can triple the weight you have in your house just by using bands. Whoa. Oh, that got me. That takes a lot of tension through the core. A lot of bracing force. Okay, catch your breath, we're in it, rock and rolling. So I'm gonna elevate my toes on these plates back here. Puts me higher to the rings. It'll put a little more weight into my hands. It'll make these reps harder than last time. Twenty-five reps, any push-up pattern of your choice. Full range of motion. A strict body line. Cut here. Oh, that was 15. Yeah, these are harder. That was 20. So again, this is bench press. This is like a 200 pound bench coming down on me. Alright, 
That's how hard those push-ups should be for you at home. So if you're sitting there watching me finish, do your push-ups slower, make it hurt. Oh. Okay. And then opposite toe crunch. So you can be down, we still have to be in our hollow. You can make it a little easier, bringing the legs to you. I'm gonna to try to stay hollow, come up, down. One, one, two, two. Land in hollow. I can bend my knees for the first round. This is gonna be a lot. Oh, oh my core is already burning from those push-ups. Oh. Ow! Oh, it's one of my favorite core moves because it's so nasty. Ah, ten more to go per side. The burn is real. Getting the hollow, that's what matters. Oh, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while. Clock wipe, clock wipe, time lapse, sun rising, sun setting, uh, birds migrating, birds returning. Oh, the burn. It's gonna be one of those days. Oh, set two after water break. See you there in a sec. Okay, set two, still out of breath. I just sampled the double yellows. This is gonna be nasty. You can do your medium power band or light power band, it all works. Whew. 20 reps, here we go. I got double handle now, so it's a lot easier to bring the bells up. Harder by force. Whoa, shit. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, holy crap. Whoa. Oh, that was halfway. Whoa, that feels like 185 pounds at the top. Legs burning. 16. Oh, geez. Lethal. Oh. Same thing with one kettlebell flipping it and doing ooh, goblet squat with the band down to your toes. We'll do that as soon. One of the worst squat moves I've ever done. Whew. Okay, getting ready for your press. Whew. Your modifications at home, you gotta find a way to be as out of breath as me there. Oh, long pauses, slow moving. Whew. Whoa, 20 push ups. A chest press, bench press, whatever you got. Full range of motion. So elevate on a high box if you have to. Oh. Remember that football block. We don't do push-ups, elbows out to the side. We don't internally rotate shoulder. We don't do them pinned against the ribs. There's a happy medium right there, 45 degrees somewhere. I'm out of breath. 
No talking. These are big, big push ups here. Woo. You can't just go flat, push ups, and bang them off. If they're not that hard, you're not doing it right. So slow them down or elevate your feet, make it harder. No touch, no rep. Okay, 20 per leg of these buggers. Halfway. My Vivo shoelace came undone. Oh, this burns. If your core is gone, you ain't getting more reps. Ain't gonna happen. You can switch to a little bicycle crunch, knee taps if you have to. I'm gonna bend my knees a little more. What's happening out here doesn't matter. It's here, I'm curved up in the hollow. I'm not relaxing my back and putting an arch that lifts me off the floor. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh. Oh. You feel me? You feel that if you're doing them right. Water break breather set three in a sec. Uh. Okay, third set, here we go. 15 reps, you know what you're doing. Let's go after it. I'm keeping the same setup and then I'll go heavier for my 10. Oh, it's got lightheaded. Woo! Make sure you're resting long enough on those water break ad sections. Here we go. Hinge to get there. Squat the rest of the way. Brace the upper body. 15 reps. Not fun. There's no escape for the legs there. Oh. Oh, catch your breath, catch your breath. Oh. Well, I might have to take a knee. Oh. Oh. Okay, 15. Push up pattern, chest press pattern, get after it. Stiff body line, four inch of motion. Oh. Ten. Oh, Maris. Seventy plus percent of your body weight is going in on your upper body push here. If you're going flat. Oh. 
Man. Whoa. Holy. Okay. 15 per side toe, opposite toe taps. Okay, assume the hollow, upper body hollow. Remember, wrinkles in the shirt's good. Loss of a hollow, shirt irons out, ribs flare. Bad news for the back. Temper side. Let it flush, let it flush. That's it. Oh. Set three complete. Big water break breather. Back for big 10 sets. Sorry, 10 reps. Part four. Set four. Okay, set four, 10 reps. I jumped a double green with a green big band. This is going to be awful, but it's just 10 reps. Here we go. Super strong. Oh, woke up the baby. Woke up the baby, failed the last rep. That is extreme burn. Whoa. Oh. oh man, still need to catch my breath. Going in for 10. Nine. Oh, ten. And escaped on my feet. Oh. Ten opposite toe crunch, toe tap crunch. Anyway, anyhow, now. Wow, it takes your breath. It takes your breath away. You gotta go up and meet the feet halfway. You can't just lay on your back, pawing at the toes. Two more per side. <sighs> okay, go chill out, get ready for this nasty 70 rep finisher. We're gonna need a dumbbell, barbell, or kettlebell to high pull. Push up position, same push up setup for one inch pulses. Wood chop's gonna be a dumbbell, kettlebell, or power band. And single leg glute bridge, floor, 
ball or bench setup for that. Okay, part two, the 70 rep finisher. I'm gonna try two sets of 35s of everything again. I'll chunk it out, stop, switch sides if I have to. First move, high pull, I'll use a 45 pound kettlebell. That's the same as a 45 pound empty barbell, or you can hold a dumbbell, super narrow, same thing. Main move here, elbows beat the knuckles to the top position. I always try to get my elbows to get to the top of the ears. That way, you're never gonna bop yourself in the chin with the weight. You'll learn that lesson once. And that's all it takes. So here we go. It's got to be hit. both hands touching each other. Elbows lead. Bell should be below the chin. Drop. Slight lean forward so the bell is not smashing you in the body as it comes up. So if you need to use your legs a little bit, go for it. I'm going to try to be strict. Burning already. Burning already. I was 15. Hands have to touch. Oh man, it should have gone to yellow. Whoa. Thirty. Ah. Five more. High elbow. That hurts. Seventy inch push up, one inch pull. So I'm just going to set up off the floor. Let's see how it looks. You're leaning on a bench, leaning on a box. Okay, remember we're down. Hips and quads are off the ground. There's a gap here. Chest is touching. One inch pulse. So chin and chest are touching same time. Quads are off. Thirty five four three two one oh, that just got oh, I can't even get myself off the ground. That just got really hard at the end. Oh wood chop. Okay, whatever you're holding, kettlebell handle, med ball, dumbbell. Call this one microphone grip. Microphone, microphone. I always cue this by click in your seatbelt, reach over shoulder to get seatbelt, and your hips hinge and power extend. Sit back a little, up, sit back a little, up. Okay, so that was five for me. Seven core is tight as you can hold it. This is a war. This isn't a passive move. You can stare forward. Twenty one way. Top hand leads to the top side. Hinge, stand tall. 
whoa. 15 per side left. Biceps. Oh, man. Brutal. Why did I say 70? Three, two, one. Two, three. Click in seatbelt, reach seatbelt. Damn. Oh, single leg glute bridge coming right up. So if I'm late on the bench, you can't just lift one leg because you're going to fall off off center. So when you lift one leg, position the other one so it's pushing center through the body. So you're going to hook the shoulder blades. Remember, aim for the shoulder blade hook. So I'm going down to feel it. I got the shoulder blade hook, hollow the core, center the one leg, and it's going to be small based on how tight your hip, uh, how tight your hip mobility is. This doesn't have to be anything big anyway. Ten. I'm definitely going to march these to alternate back and forth. Ten. Keep tight. We're not arching over the bench. No, no twisting of the spine, no dropping of one hip. Right. Right. 10, that's 30 on that leg. If your neck gets a good workout. 10, one, one, two, you can march it, two, three, three, Five, five, whoa, underestimated that. Uh, oh, big water break breather. Come back when you're ready to blast that again. I'm dropping down to a 35 pound bell. 45 was ripping me up a little too much. Okay, one more time. 35 nasty reps of everything. Woo! Here we go. I'm a little lighter, so she'll be able to flow through this a little bit better. <sighs> Begin. High elbow. Never bop your chin. Slight lean forward. So the dumbbell doesn't touch your body. Full range of motion. You can do these in a sumo deadlift high pull. Those will show up eventually in our programming. Nasty. Oh yeah, that gets everything right down to the wrist. 15 more to go. Oh, the burn, the burn. Uh, 10 more to go. 
hands have to touch each other. If you have any kids at home, little toddlers, you can throw them in some Oshkosh overalls and heave them around. That's it. 71 inch pulses coming up. I don't know how these were the easiest. Okay, remember no part of the lower body, no part below ribs is touching floor. Flex your butt and glutes, elevate. I'm hovering. Eight, nineteen, twenty. Was that it? 1636. Good. Got it. Good. Ooh. That was just 71 inch pulses in a rep range of motion where 90% of people don't ever spend their time in a push up. So applaud yourself for doing that. Deep range of motion. Wood chop still sucks. I don't have anything lighter. I wish I had a 20 for this, but I'm not going to use the power block. So here we go. Hinge back, click seatbelt, unclick reach. Face forward. Core tight. Lead top hand leads. Oh, come on, 15 more per side. Oh, my sweat towel, uh, too far. Hip width stance. Just enough reps, start to feel your arms totally fail. Oh, wasn't supposed to be biceps today. Ooh. Yeah. Ah. Final 15. Ah, stay tight. Five. I don't think you're doing this one with your toddler. That's it. Uh, sweat towel now. Get ready for your glute bridge. Single leg. If you can't do the single leg, you're doing double leg. Okay, things like that you'll just need to know to modify on the fly. Well, you didn't say it, but I'm not going to hurt myself trying this, so I'm just going to make it easier for myself. You got to be your own coach when I'm not physically there in the room to spot you and watch you. Okay, setting up. I'll do singles and then I'll start to march because that felt pretty good by the end. Ten. If you're pushing almost right exclusively through the heel, you're going to get a lot of glute. If you try to put the whole foot down, you're going to start to feel the quad.
Don't worry about range of motion, just try to stay square. I try to envision there's a big board above me and I'm trying to put the whole body flat into that board. Twenty twenty. Five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Gonna march them. One. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Keep your core strong. What are your ribs doing? Stay closed in the hollow. Eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Ah, oh, get out of there, get out of there. Oh, finish up if you're still finishing up. Whoa, oh, oh, no, I'm just kidding. No cardio alert yet. Although it's getting colder, so I feel like I'm running Bruce every other day. I'm not lifting, and I'm taking my rest days. And you saw the analytics. Ladies and gentlemen watching the video, children of all ages. Oh, I can't breathe. Let's make it a seven day goal to start telling more girls about these videos because we got to get them to join the series, got to get them in here. And even for age demographic, it's perfect. I wouldn't mind some young 14, 15, 16 year olds jumping in as well because that's the perfect time to start. And if you didn't start that young, you're just digging in, catching up, no problem. So see you next workout. We're getting closer to the space oddity special workout.